All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's find a video editing software which suits your needs. The softwares mentioned inside of this video will be Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, Sony Vegas Pro, and CapCut. Let's dive in. All right, so I'm gonna go on based on the topics. For example, I have interface and ease of use, editing tools, color grading, audio tools. In the end, we're gonna discuss the pricing. Starting off with the interface and ease of use. I'm gonna rank the softwares based on how easy they are to use. Number one being the most easiest to use, right? number one sony vegas pro the most simplest software to start off with because the interface is really easy to learn super beginner friendly all of the effects and the other tools are based on the drag and drop features like you won't have to enter the commands or anything you just have to drag and drop some effects type in right and you can just play around with these settings next up we got cap cuts also focused on drag and drop editing and it is widely used by beginners who are on a budget who just want to start out with video editing try out some effects try making some shorts some cinematics you can learn this software easily in like a day or two next up we got final cut pro in the third number this is a mac only editing software this software is really focused on high speed editing really efficient editing it has minimal crashes it's a, it's a super smooth software to use but it's on a mac only very beginner friendly but not as beginner friendly as the sony vegas pro you will never experience any crashes any bugs or lags inside of this software because it is optimized for the mac os platform and you know the whole apple ecosystem is really focused on efficiency high quality interface but it, it is slightly more difficult compared to sony vegas pro in terms of like learning next up is adobe premiere pro now we are inside of the territory the learning curve is steeper as compared to the previous softwares i've discussed the layout is highly customizable you can play around with the panels to find out your sweet spot and remove all of the unnecessary panels you don't want this software is also based on a lot of drag and drop interactions but it also needs some type in commands as well that's why it has a steeper learning curve as compared to the previous softwares i've discussed but this software might be a bit laggy as compared to the previous software just because these softwares and now i'm going to discuss are a lot more powerful so depending on your system you might experience some lag some crashes but if you have a really powerful system there's not going to be any problem with that whatsoever next up we got davinci resolve aka the color correction god software this software might take you a month or two to really set your hands on next up the most difficult software to learn in my opinion is adobe after effects the motion graphic master i highly don't recommend beginners to start off with this software it is a super advanced software it's focused on motion graphics and vfx real-time previews regardless of what kind of a computer you have you will experience some crashes some lags but it is a really strong software anything you have in mind you can just make it happen inside of the software's next topic which is the editing tools and features i'm not going to do the ranks now just going to go software by software so we, first off we have premiere pro multicam editing easily switch between cameras in the same project this means if you have two shots of the same video it's, it is really simple to switch between the camera angles there are a lot of advanced presets inside of premiere pro that you can use for example trans transitions green screens keyframe controls and also animation controls which is not a strong point but you can still do animation controls inside of this software but after effects which i've already said the motion graphics powerhouse ideal for creating animations detailed vfx anything that you have in mind you can make it happen inside of after effects if you know what you are doing so in terms of like tools and features this is the best software in my opinion and you can also pair this with premiere pro through what is called a dyn dynamic link so you have a video portion inside of premiere you can right click and click on replace with after effects composition and what it will do it it will open after effects automatically and then you can edit that particular footage inside of after effects even though it was originally inside of premiere pro and any edits that you do inside of after effects will automatically get updated inside of premiere pro as well that's a really cool feature which i use every day if you have a team of editors and you want to work on the same project together davinci resolve in the software to go it has a really seamless program through which multiple editors can work on the project simultaneously and again all the color correction tools i've already explained they are the best and you can also do advanced video editing and visual effects but it's going to be a lot more complicated as compared to after effects if you want to do advanced motion effects final cut pro is similar to premiere pro in terms of like multi-cam editing it's really simple to edit on this is the most efficient software in terms of like the whole editing workflow cap cut the software for mobile editors on a low budget super simple to use but i think even the simplest feature features such as like cutting takes too much time in my opinion so, so i think this is the least efficient software in terms of like the whole editing for workflow so making a simple edit it will be easy it will take a lot of 
time as compared to the other software that i've mentioned so if you're running low on time CapCut might not be the software for you sony vegas pro the features are really similar to final cut pro and premiere pro as i mentioned before because i ranked this software the number one in, um, in terms of like beginner friendly interface right so if you don't want to learn a whole lot but you still want all of the features sony vegas pro is the software for you but don't make your decision yet we have more topics to cover color grading you already know my answer davinci resolve is the best software industry standard preferred by the majority of videographers and because they want a high quality professional cinematic look and they want a lot of control over their colors after effects it's not really focused on color correction even though it has a lot of advanced color correction tools you can play around with such as sapphire but it is still not as good as davinci resolve premiere pro will offer you the most basic color correction tools it's famous for its lumetri color option in which you'll basically get all of the beginner basic color corrections tools such, such as like saturation vibrance brightness contrast hints curves final cut pro in terms of color correction i think is even worse the color correction tools are really basic sharpen saturation vibrance that's pretty much it you don't have a lot of control over the colors and the same can be said for sony vegas pro as well and lastly CapCut, which i think is the worst in terms of color correction it does not have a lot of color grading tools it does have its color correction presets but forget about having a lot of color control if you want to use the software it is best suited for quick touch-ups rather than detailed color work let's talk about audio editing audio tools and features premiere pro is the best software if you want to have a lot of control over your audio because you can also pair it with audition which is adobe's software for audio only you have sony vegas pro where if you just want to do some basic audio editing it will get the job done again the multi-track audio editing feature is also available in the inside of this software as well if you guys don't know what multi-track audio editing is you ha you'll have a speaker's audio in one track you'll have some music in the second track you ha have some sound effects in the third track and you'll have some even more sound effects in the fourth or fifth sixth track so that way all of the things are organized and this feature is available inside of sony vegas pro and inside of premiere pro as well davinci resolve is very detailed in terms of audio editing it has a separate suite which is called the fairlight audio suite in which you have all of the tools through which you can do pretty much anything with your audio final cut pro is next up basic audio controls sound adjustments and audio syncing although it does have a automatic audio syncing feature which can be useful for some editors CapCut, one of the worst editing software when it comes to audio editing super annoying to use you'll waste so much time trying to time the sound effects on music so i don't recommend this software at all if you want to focus more on audio editing same i can say for after effects as well this is a motion graphics software in which you can do highly detailed vfx but it is not good for advanced audio editing rendering and performance final cut pro is hands down the fastest software to use if you're just aiming for efficiency overall rendering quality it will give you the smoothest experience when it comes to video editing CapCut as well i haven't experienced any crashes bugs inside of CapCut. although it is less efficient in terms of like editing it has never crashed on me never no bugs no errors whatsoever sony vegas pro also doesn't need a high-end setup it is smooth but not as smooth as final cut pro so you might experience some lags crashes it does happen but not a lot if you have everything organized and the project file size is really slow and you have all of the storage cleaned inside of your computer premiere pro this software is highly dependent on your hardware if you don't have a good pc you will definitely experience lags crashes and you won't have a good time editing but i don't recommend this if you don't have a mid-range pc and i think the mid-range pc is around 800 dollars. if you have a pc anything below that i simply don't recommend to use the software after effects being the most powerful software on this list it is also the slowest it has long render times because of the whole advanced motion graphics which you will be doing inside of the software again the adobe softwares do demand good hardware for them to run properly in terms of like efficiency and workflow smoothness this software is the worst last topic we're going to discuss is the pricing now the best value for money in my opinion is the adobe creative cloud in which you pay 20 dollars a month for all of the adobe software so, so premiere pro after effects photoshop illustrator audition and all of the other softwares which i don't remember because i don't use them davinci resolve you can use it for free but if you want to dip your toes inside of advanced editing you'll have to pay 295 dollars which is a one-time fee after that you will have every single feature the software has to offer CapCut again this is the most budget friendly software but it is optimized for mobile editing so the base version is free if you want to just introduce yourself to video editing and you're running low on budget CapCut is the way to go so it's kind of a freemium pricing model you can do your basic editing but if you want to do some advanced editing which i think is not that good but if you don't have a laptop or a pc and you want to try out some premium features you can pay for it and you can experience some premium features of video editing as well final cut pro there's no such thing as a free version of the software you'll have to pay 300 dollars after that you you are set for life you don't have to pay anything after that sony vegas pro this is the most expensive software you'll, you'll be paying 400 dollars for a lifetime license and 
you'll be paying $20 a month if you want to opt in for a monthly payment. So which software is the best for you if you're running low on budget you don't have a pc and you just want to start off with video editing i recommend CapCut. if you already have a laptop or a pc and you want to do some beginner editing and you want to have a smooth beginner friendly experience i recommend sony vegas pro also final cut pro falls into the same category but if you do have a budget you already have a mac and you want to just keep yourself inside of the basic editing environment i recommend final cut pro because this is the most efficient software on the list because it is optimized for the mac os only no lags no crashes as i previously mentioned davinci resolve i recommend to beginner photographers and videographers who want to really focus on color correction making sure that everything looks professional and cinematic i recommend premiere pro to editors who want to start out with video editing but they also have a plan for advanced editing in the future that they can transition inside of after effects seamlessly and use the dynamic link feature and you'll also get the best value for money with the whole adobe creative cloud subscription if you're looking to make video effects advanced vfx cgi or anything like that i recommend after effects to you this will be a really difficult software to master but if your focus is to go on cgi and vfx this is the software to go it will take you some time to learn this software three four months six months maybe depending on how much time you dedicate to learning this software but the value for money is insane because you were paying 20 dollars and you'll get premiere pro after effects photoshop all of the other adobe softwares as i mentioned before and if you want to focus on short form video editing and you have a pc i recommend premiere pro this is the software i'm i've been using the most for short form video editing and if you're on mobile you can use CapCut as well but a reminder CapCut is very inefficient in terms of like editing you'll be spending a lot of time doing the most basic tasks known to men such as cutting clips up and placing sound effects if you are interested in learning premiere pro and after effects i do have a school community in which i teach premiere pro and after effects the link to the school community will be down below all of the viral shorts that have gained me 250 plus million views all of those shorts i've done through premiere pro and after effects so check it out and i will see you guys inside of the next video